What are the best free credit cards in Germany? And how do credit cards in Germany work? Also a very valid question. In this video, we will answer that question and we will do a roundup of the four best credit cards in Germany that will help you hopefully make a decision. Hey, I'm Jen and I'm from Guatemala. <laughs> and I'm Yvonne and I'm from Germany. And together we're from simplegermany.com where we help expats settle into life in Germany more smoothly. smoothly. <laughs> Make sure to stick until the end of this video because we will reveal which credit cards we use and why. Also, as a reminder, all the links that we say and mention, they will be in the uh, description box below. And as a small disclaimer, we are not financial advisors and this video is not financial advice to you. Uh, on the contrary, all that we are saying is based on our own research and of course our own experience. Exactly. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get into it. The first question that I have is like, why do I even need a credit card in Germany? I mean, that is quite individual, but I would say the number one reason is for purposes of renting a car or <laughs> like fancy hotel visits. Um, <laughs> you need to give them financial security, right? Mainly for renting a car and for that you usually need to give them a credit card um, to make that happen. Oh, okay, that's very true. Also, some uh, online um, uh, shops or whatever, they only accept credit cards as a means of paying, that's right? That's true. I mean, it's still happening these days, although there are, of course, plenty other payment methods. Um, personally, like especially for traveling, uh, I would never go without a credit card. And mm. I've had my fair share of experience, mm. um, especially in a medical situation where you might not have that much money on your actual um, like checking account. Yeah. A credit card kind of like saved my... Um, but once or twice <laughs> so that's where i personally use it um and other cases are just um yeah personal interest if you want a quick loan or a quick credit for example but that is definitely up to you we have had the question whether you need a credit card in germany to live i would say you don't no. unless really you want to rent a car i mean that is the number one reason where you really need it um everything else is i would say a choice of lifestyle Exactly, I agree. So now that we got that out of the way, now let's get to the confusion of credit cards in Germany. Why is there a confusion? <laughs> so when I first arrived to Germany, I opened my bank account in Staatssparkasse, which if you are not in Germany uh, and you don't know, it's a very traditional German bank. And actually, I'm pretty sure when I said that, a lot of Germans grinched and was like, you had a bank account there? What? I would argue some would actually say, yeah. Because oh. they're fans of them. So sure. again, you know. It depends. Long story short, they uh, offered me a credit card, which wasn't for free. Um, and I paid 25 euros to have a Visa card, credit card. And you had quite a few other fees also, like when using the card. Yes, also, which I didn't even pay attention to. But the interesting <laughs> thing happens when I use my credit card for the first time. I bought stuff. And then at the end of the month, I realized, wait, that money that I spent on my credit card has been deducted directly from my banking account. Yeah, of course. What? Luckily, I had the money to pay for it. But imagine if I would have not had the money to, to pay for it. Well, but how else did you expect to pay for it? This is where the interesting part comes, because in Guatemala, actually, and I would say in all of the Americas, uh, credit cards work differently. They work that the, that you get like a loan, right? You can pay with your credit card and then you can decide if you want to pay installments on the debt that you have or you want to pay it all at once. But there's like a chance that you can pay like little payments. That explains why some people actually have multiple credit cards because they have a loan on every card. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah. So here comes to the different types of credit cards in Germany, which is important for you to know. So there are three credit yes. cards, right? Three There's types. Yes. Three types. Sorry. Yeah. So the, the one that I was used to that I described, right? The one that you pay in installments, it's called a revolving credit card. Aha. Uh -huh. And the one that uh, that I got from the German bank, which is the one that they just the take German the money standard, out. The German standard, yeah. It's called? A charge credit card. Aha, uh -huh, which is super interesting. And the third one is the prepaid credit card. Correct. Which pretty much, I mean, it's... The name is self-explanatory. Yeah, you, you prepay and then you have your own credit, which doesn't which make is, sense. And then you it pay, does, right? It does, it makes sense. It's great for um, if you are on a budget uh, or if you want to credit card for your children. Um, that is a fantastic way to literally put money on the card and that's all you have, right? Hmm. Uh, and it is um, great also for traveling. You know, let's say if, if someone steals it, it's really only the money that's on it that's getting lost. Um, and hmm. it is fantastic if you cannot get an actual credit card in Germany because you have a bad Schufa score or no Schufa score at all. Oh. That is the credit worthiness in Germany and we have done another video for that in detail. Hmm. Um, then your best shot is a prepaid credit card because that you can get without um, a credit score. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So for this video, we're just gonna focus on the first two, which is the revolving credit card and the charge credit card. If you are interested in a prepaid credit card, we wrote a very detailed article also comparing the best free, no, the best prepaid credit cards in Germany, which we again link in the description box below. 
So now that we made the whole ex ex explanation of what kind of types of credit card exist in Germany, let's start with the roundup. Yes. So number one on our list <laughs> is actually the Hanseatic Bank Genial card or Genial card if you're reading it in, term, in English, right? So actually I have to look at my notes here, unfortunately, because I don't know everything by heart, right? So um, through our research, we found that this credit card is actually one of the best credit cards in Germany. Uh, yes, and not just for like for English speakers, but I would say for Germans alike, it's um, a very much liked card. Can you say that? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, because of its perks, and we are going to dive into them. So now for the perks and the what what the credit card offers for you. So here we go. So first of all, there is no annual fee. Yes. That's good. Um, let's just quick disclaimer. Everything yeah. that we're going to mention from now on is, of course, um, based on um, June 2021. Mm. Uh, in the banking world, things can change. So if you watch this in a year, things might have changed. Yeah. So make sure to double check that the information that we say is still accurate. Right. So anyway, so let's jump into our table. Right. Yes. Thing number one, no annual fees. Yes. Right. You can well, also help. That me goes for all cards. But yes, because we just we're talking it. about the best yeah. free credit cards. Exactly. In yeah. OK. Yeah. So. So no annual fee and next one up, it's a, it's a very quick and easy online um, application process and actually you immediately get to know whether you qualify and get the card or you don't because of whatever reason the algorithm doesn't allow you. Yeah, okay, super cool. Downside though is that it only they only provide a German website and customer support. Um, yes. And that's going to be the truth for all the other credit cards that we compare. However, there's a hot tip that we can give to you is that if you use Chrome as a browser, you right click and then there's like a menu and put translate to English, then you're pretty much able to read the website in English, which is pretty cool. Communicating with customer support, that might be a little bit tricky, but <laughs> but just for you to know this, right? Yes, yeah. They have a cool chat um, on the page that I've used frequently and uh, it's very responsive, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now for the super positive one, which you can read the next one. The super positive one is, and that is actually very unique for this topic, is their banking app, when you actually have the credit card, is in English. Yeah, so Yay. that is super cool. So there you have uh, FAQs, uh, I mean like, like support material and everything all in English, which will help you navigate through the app and the stuff. There. And the whole management of your credit card, like um, yeah, your payments. Card. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Which, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, you don't, ah, you can have an individual checking account linked to it if you want. Yeah. No, you have to. So since the uh, Genial card or Genial card, however you want to pronounce it, is an individual standalone credit card, it is not, um, it doesn't come with a checking account. Mm -hmm. um, the current account. So that means you need to have your current account, which you hopefully have already, <laughs> and you can link it to the junior card, which is great because you can be with a bank that you want and have the credit card individually um, from Hanseatic Bank. Exactly. So what that means is that they're going to, any payment that you do to this, uh, to your credit card, is going to come from that banking account, right? Which is linked. Yes. Exactly. So that's cool. Okay. So also, what do we have here? No cash withdrawal fees worldwide. Which makes it a favorite amongst travelers um, mm -hmm. because obviously you can go to any ATM in the world and um, the Hanseatic Bank will not charge you a fee for withdrawing cash. However, um, and that goes also for, I would say nowadays, unfortunately, any bank in the world um, or in Germany at least, the ATMs in foreign countries might, not all, but some might in Guatemala, they all do, um, they charge you an ATM fee. And that ATM fee you don't get back. So that you pay, but no additional fees from the Hanseatic Bank. Yeah, so that is was the next point. Very good, yeah. So no um, no foreign, oh, oh, okay. So no refund for an ATM fees, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that also, you don't get a refund of that. The other one is no foreign currency fee. Yeah, which is another, again, a traveler's favorite. Uh, you can use the card at any payment point and you don't pay, pay extra fees to it and you actually have a, the, the regular ex exchange rate. But any payment point you mean like for currencies, like I can pay in Quetzales, which is a Guatemalan currency and I don't have an extra fee for that, yeah. or I can pay in pounds uh, or whatever, right? So that's what it means. Yeah, cool. Um, oh, and another positive is that you have the ability to transfer money for a positive uh, balance. Correct. So when you apply for the um, general card, you will get a set credit limit, which... Um, I mean, the, the maximum, I believe, is 2,500. Um, and the credit limit you might get might be 1,000, might mm. be 500. It really depends on the algorithm. If you would like to increase it, contact the customer service and uh, they might be able to. Um, and if you need more money on the credit card, you can wire money from your checking account onto the card to increase your limit to 2,000. Um, oh. So that's pretty cool in case you have a big payment coming up, you would like to pay with that card. Yeah, that is pretty cool. And the effective annual fee for the Hanseatic uh, a Genial card is 13.6%. Yeah. And with the Hanseatic Bank uh, Genial card, you can choose how you want to pay back. Remember, it's a revolving credit card. Mm -hmm. um, that means you it won't be charged automatically in full 
to your checking account every month. Ah, right. That okay. does not happen. Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. So you can change. Uh, you can choose how you want to pay back the little loan that you took out. It's mm -hmm. actually a, a, it gives you a loan. Mm -hmm. Right. So you can choose that it becomes a charge uh, a charge card and that it goes every month to your bank account. Mm -hmm. But you can also choose that let's say from the thousand you only want to pay back two hundred this month mm -hmm. and another two hundred next month. So. And then I believe the first three months are free of, of interest. And after that, you pay an interest rate, obviously. And that is this effective interest rate that you just meant. So it's 13.6% interest rate you pay um, or you get charged on top of um, the loan you take out if you choose this partial payment method. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now that wraps up the Hanseatic and Genial card. Now we jump to our second contender, which is, I cannot really pronounce this very well, so it's better you... It's the Barclay Visa Barclay. card. <laughs> Barclay. It's such a weird day. Okay, but anyway, so the Barclay Visa card. <laughs> this one by default is also a revolving credit card. Yes. Um, the Hanseatic by default is also a revolving credit card. We didn't mention that. Um, yeah, and this one again is a very favorite uh, credit card in Germany, and it again has won a lot of awards. Yes. So it's a uh, it's, uh, par and par, as people would say. Is that correct? Yeah. Yo, yo. <laughs> With the Hanseat uh, Hanseatic one. And here are the comparison stuff. So to run through that, again, no annual fee. Quick and easy online application as well. Again, only German website and customer service. This one, though, has no banking app in English. So that is uh, one negative point compared to the Hanseatic one, right? It does, however, provide you the ability to also do an individual check-in account, which you can link, right? Uh, no cash withdrawal fee worldwide, no refund of foreign ATM fees, no foreign currency fees, ability to transfer money to a positive account, and the other one is that the effective annual rate is actually 18.38%. Right. So, so to, it's a higher rate. Exactly. So to wrap it up, it's just as good, except that it doesn't have an English banking app and the effective interest rate for partial payments is higher. higher. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> you can also change uh, an opt, uh, like change it back to a charge credit card if you don't want this whole revolving thing. Um, Germans are very like, oh, no, like I get into debt. I don't want that. Um, <laughs> that's why the charge credit card is so much more popular in Germany. Mm. Um, but you can choose this loan payment if you want. Yeah. Okay. So super cool. Now, the third one on our list is actually the DKB. Um, DKB Bank and the DKB Visa card. Yeah, and this one by default is actually a charge, charge card. Credit card. Yes, <laughs> okay. So here we need to explain a little bit more because the DKB Visa credit card, you can only get it if you actually have a DKB banking account. With the DKB banking account, yes. Exactly. So I, for example, when I first got to Germany, I heard about DKB, a lot of good things because it's an online banking account. It's uh, very little fees. It's very famous, I would yep. say. And I apply for it as a Guatemalan with my Guatemalan passport and I got I kind of talked her into it because I've been a customer for 15 years now. So I got declined. So this is a disclaimer that maybe if you come from a country like Guatemala or any, like, I don't know, like Guatemala kind of country, <laughs> you might get declined, unfortunately, for such a bank. So I it's not a bank for that everyone. It, yes, I wouldn't argue that it was Guatemala per se. I think it's, again, a mix of, of Shufa and, and other things. I would disagree because my Shufa score was perfect at the moment. Did you know that? Yes because it was before the whole gym incident. <gasps> well, I had no other incident. If you don't know about the gym incident, you should check out our Shufa video out. Yeah. But anyway, so just to give a disclaimer, you might not, it, they, it doesn't always give a it's, card to everyone, right? It's known for being difficult for foreigners, yes. Yeah. But that doesn't mean we've had also readers um, of simplegermany.com that have uh, successfully applied to DKB. Yeah, so just as a small disclaimer. Now to talk about the credit card itself. So mm -hmm. all of the, they have very good benefits and everything. And this is just applicable if you are an active customer. And what does an active customer mean? So DKB differentiates between uh, if you use the account, the checking account, um, kind of like full time or not. The full time hmm. level in, uh, or the, 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 yeah, the level um, they set at 700 euros. So basically, if you have a 700 euro um, transfer into um, the checking account on a monthly basis, you're an active customer and can benefit from all the perks. I must specify that it's 700 euros as a one-time payment, right? Yes. It's not like you get 200, 200. No, it has to be a minimum seven, like one-time payment of 700 euros or more that qualifies you as an active customer. So obviously they would like to have customers that use it also for their salary, right? For example, that's a very good example. Just yeah. put that account as your salary account and then obviously you hopefully meet this criteria, right? So let's jump into our comparison. Yes. Okay, so again, no annual fee. No annual fee. You can help me here. Yes. Quick and easy online application. 
all in German, um, just like everyone else, unfortunately. The, yeah. Yeah. Which also leads to no banking app in English. I have the DKB banking app installed, and it's not in English, so that's no. how I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is, uh, like we mentioned before, uh, not possible to link the DKB Visa card to any other banking account of your choice. It needs to be linked with the DKB checking account. Exactly. And here again, you have no cash withdrawal fee worldwide, only if you're an active customer. If you're not an active customer, then it's 1.75%. Yes. You also don't get the foreign um, ATM fees back. It used to be back in the day. Mm, it was fantastic. Was cool. yeah. I loved it, especially at my cruise ship times. Yeah. But that is um, no longer active. Yeah, like any other credit card, right? So no foreign currency fees as well. This one, again, it's, it's true. And if you're not an active customer, then it's a 1.75% again on top yes. of it. And that is um, like... I would say but any big bank, you have that, like Commerzbank, Deutsche Bank, Sparkasse. Hmm. That's kind of like a thing, right? Right. Um, and then um, you have the ability to put money onto your Visa card also to um, kind of like as a prepaid card to have a bigger um, amount, a better credit amount on it for big payments or if you want to travel. Um, so that's pretty neat. Yeah. Okay, and the effective uh, the effective annual interest is actually just 6.65%. Remember, though, this is a charged credit card. And if you are not an active customer, it's actually 7.25%. However, this effective interest rate is not on the credit card. It is on the checking account, mm -hmm. right? So it is an overdraft of the checking account. So that means exactly because it's a charge, it's a charge credit card that if I spend a thousand euros with my credit card, but I only have 900 on my bank account, when the, when the bank will charge that, there's going to be a hundred euros missing, right? Exactly. And that's in minus. And on that minus, I would pay the six... 65%. That is the famous dispo. That is the famous up in dispo, exactly. which we talk about in our, another video of unconventional ways to learn German, <laughs> if you want to know what that means. <laughs> the fourth contender on our list is actually the Advianza MasterCard Gold. Which is also known as Gebührenfrei. Exactly. And this, by default, is a revolving credit yes. card. So actually, some say this is one of the most popular options for expats to get as a credit card, which I personally don't understand because one, their website is like they're stuck in the 90s. So sorry if you work at this company, but like really do an update on your site, right? Yes. <laughs> Second of all, um, it has a lot of hidden fees as we discovered. Yes. So it is why is I'm it, like, yes. Yes. I'm like, so why is it so popular amongst uh, experts or, or internationals is because um, this is one of the easiest credit cards to get. Um, don't ask us why. I mean, maybe the limit, they have a different algorithm behind it. Um, and that makes it, of course, a favorite. However, there are hidden fees, which if you are aware of them and know how to avoid them, it's a great card and yeah. we're going to talk about it. If you are not aware of them, because you haven't watched this beautiful video that we uh, have uh, collected, uh, have we, that we are doing here for you, <laughs> um, then you might actually be surprised, hurt financially. Yes, yes, exactly. So let's pop into that table and look at our comparison stuff. Again, no annual fee, because again, this is the best free credit cards in Germany. So quick and eh, easy online process. I wouldn't say easy again, because it's not website, so modern. Yeah. Yes, I would agree. Only, unfortunately, again, German uh, website and customer service, which again is a uh, no banking app in English. And the reviews for the app actually are not that good. Yeah, so we so haven't tested it, uh, like full disclaimer, because we are not convinced by it. Uh, we know better, um, yeah. but oh, we, we, ha we can have better, let's put it that way. Yeah, in. yeah. <laughs> um, so the reviews are not good. Yeah, exactly. You want to take the other one? Individual. Um, you have an individual, uh, you can link any bank account to it. So it's also not tied to any, any banking account or checking account for that matter. And, uh, here comes the number one hidden fee, um, which when I talk about this to like my German friends, they're like, what that exists. <laughs> I'm like, yes, it does. And it's really for Germans like a no, no. So know? to just clarify the point that we're talking about is, is the, the no cash, cash withdrawal. withdrawal fee. Yes. So there is no cash withdrawal fee, but... which is great, fantastic. Yay, I can get my cash for free. However, the moment you pull out cash at an ATM, there will be an immediate interest rate so charged good. on the amount that you withdraw. <laughs> of 19.44% So there's no a less. huge interest rate. Yes. So either you get the uh, Advianza credit card, MasterCard gold, because, you know, it's, 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 it's easy to get. And you don't ever pull cash, yeah, pull cash out. Don't. That is a great use case. Yeah. Or if you need to pull cash out, you need to be prepared to at the same time. So like right after, actually wire the amount that you pulled out 
onto that credit card so you don't pay interest. Yeah, that's kind of like dumb. So pretty much the use case of this is never pull cash out, right? Let's continue with our list. It also has uh, no refund of foreign ATM fees. Also no foreign currency fees. Yeah. So paying with it is actually great. Yeah. No ability to transfer money for a positive balance though. So nope. you cannot do that. So if you are a negative or you want to increase your credit, you cannot add more money to it. Wait, wait. In negative, you can. Ah, sorry. If you want to increase your credit, <laughs> yes. then you're not able to do it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And the effective annual interest rate is actually the 19.44%. Which is the highest of the four credit cards that we're talking about here, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So um, also another um, not so nice thing about the um, Gebührenfrei credit card is that unlike all the other three that we talked about, where you can um, automatically say, you know, each month pull this kind of amount, pull everything, whatever, with a separate transfer, um, the the Gebührenfreie credit mm. card doesn't allow that, meaning you cannot have an automatic separate um, transfer to your checking account, but you need to manually actually Whoa. like balance out your credit card. Which is so, dangerous because if you forget exactly. one month, right? So um, big alerts here. It's a great and easy to get credit card if you don't take out money from mm -hmm. ATMs, if you don't have cash withdrawals, and if you're really good at knowing your, your, your money and being able to um, balance it out uh, on a monthly or regular basis. Exactly. So that is the roundup of the four best free credit cards in Germany. Before we reveal to you which credit cards we have, we will wrap this up by giving a small conclusion, right? Yes. So we need to go into our notes for this so we don't like, you know, screw this up. So number one, the clear winner, if we look at our comparison site, is actually the Hanseatic Bank Gen Genial card. Exactly, which is a strong competitor against the Barclay <laughs> Visa card. Yeah, exactly, because that ca the Hanseatic... Or the official name is Barclay Card Visa. Whoa. And that's because uh, the Hanseatic uh, is a little bit better just because of the effective annual rate. It's a lower yeah. interest rate and yeah. the banking app is in English. Exactly, so that is a big thing. Mm -hmm. um, if you would like to have also a free checking account with it where you are an active customer, remember minimum 700 euros deposit, then the DKB is also a it's good an credit card. It's an amazing option, yes. Exactly, just remember the DKB by default is a charging credit card, right? And only if you're not able to qualify for the those DKB, Hanseatic or Barclay, then we would recommend Barclay, <laughs> then we would recommend to actually get the Advienza Mastercard Gold Gebührenfrei. Yeah, exactly. I get an easier name. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Now for the big reveal of which credit cards we have. Oh, no, kidding, it's not such a big, but anyways, we have the Hanseatic Genial card. Yeah, that's correct. And the DKB credit yes. card, actually. Those yes. are our uh, two go-to credit cards. And why do we have two? Um, very simple answer, um, especially when traveling, but also in regular life. If one gets lost or stolen, you have a backup. Yes. More importantly so, um, especially when traveling, <laughs> um, if you get injured, have an accident and need medical assistance, hmm. depending on the country you're in, those costs can be huge. A lot bigger than like Germans per se are used to or you would need to pay for in Germany. So and it's good to have a backup exactly, credit card for that. Exactly, because one might not, the limit you have one on one might not be enough, right? Exactly. So we hope we have had a very nice roundup of the best free credit cards in Germany. So you to help you make a decision. Again, all the links of the credit cards that we talked about are in the description box below. If you click on these links, these are affiliate links, which means we would get a small commission uh, for referring you to these programs. No additional cost to you. Uh, that doesn't mean that you have to go get a credit card to support Simple Germany. Only really get one if you think you Absolutely need, and need want one. one. Yeah. Exactly. And if you still want to support this channel in another way, we set up a coffee page, which you can pretty much buy as a coffee, which is a small donation, which would help us create, <laughs> uh, keep on creating content for all the English speaking people in Germany. And the easiest way, obviously, that you can support this channel is to subscribe and hit that like button. Um, yeah. And to watch us next Monday, obviously. Until then. Cheers. cheers.